In this lesson, we're going to have a look at depreciation and inflation. Certain items lose some of its value as time goes by. This depreciation can be determined or calculated in two different ways. The first method is the straight line depreciation method. And this formula looks similar to that of simple interest with the difference that you have a minus in the bracket because the item is losing value. The second method is the reducing balance method, which has a similar formula to compound interest. In both these formulas, once again, P is the starting value or the starting amount. A is the final value or final amount. I is your depreciation rate. And N is still the number of periods. Let's have a look at a few examples. Example 1. Joshua wants to sell his car in 5 years. The current value of the car is 60,000 Rand. Calculate the value of the car in 5 years time if the depreciation of 14% per annum is calculated using the straight line method. Let's have a look at what information we were given. Firstly, he wants to sell his car in 5 years, so that will be our N value. The current value, or then the starting amount, or P, is 60,000 Rand. And he wants to know the value of the car if the depreciation is at 14%, which will be our I, calculated using the straight line method. And this straight line method tells us which formula we are going to use. Now we can go and substitute into the equation and then we'll see that in 5 years time this car will only be worth 18,000 Rand. Example 2. Calculate the original price of a computer if the depreciated value after 7 years is 900 Rand and the depreciation of 12% per annum is calculated using the reducing balance method. Here we are given that it is 7 years, so that will be our N value, our number of periods. And after the 7 years, the value will be 900 Rand, so that is our final value, our A value. And the depreciation is 12%, which will be our I value, and that is calculated using the reducing balance method, which tells us which formula we are going to use. And now we can substitute into our formula and solve P. To solve P, we want to get rid of the whole bracket because P is not inside the bracket but multiplied to the bracket. We are simply going to divide by the whole bracket. And then you will see that the original price of this computer was 2202 Rand and 24 cents. Even though some items might lose some of its value over time because of depreciation, other items will increase its value over time because of inflation. Inflation is always calculated from one year directly to the next, so the formula looks exactly like compound interest. Example 3. A calculator cost 150 Rand in January 2017, and the same calculator cost 220 Rand in January 2019. What was the annual rate of inflation? If we have a look at the information given, we will see that the starting value or amount, the P value, was 150 Rand, and the final amount was 220 Rand. We need to determine the rate of inflation, or I. Our N value, or number of periods, is from January 2017 to January 2019, which means N will be two years. As mentioned, our formula for inflation is the same as compound interest, so the N is in the exponent, and now I can substitute. To solve I, which is inside the brackets, I'm going to start off by getting rid of the 150, and that is multiplied to the bracket so I'm going to divide by 150. Then on the right, I'm left with the bracket to the power of 2. So my next step is to add a square root on the left-hand side to get rid of the square that I had on the right. And to then get i completely alone, I'm going to take that square root that I have on the left 
and subtract the one that is still on the right. And to then write this as a rate, as a percentage, I'm going to multiply by 100 and then round to two decimals. So the inflation rate was 21,11% per annum.